Hi everyone, welcome to Online Bioinformatics. Our first project is going to be to analyze the data that was obtained in the sequencing run for genes and genomes last fall. If you go to Canvas, you'll see in your first part of the project, you're responsible for getting that data from Illumina's website, BaseSpace, downloading the data onto your computer, and uploading only the files that we need for the project to a new history on Galaxy. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how you'll do each of these things. So once you have the link from Canvas to go to our particular run, you're gonna to wanna to click on that run and you may need to set up an Illumina account if you weren't in Genes and Genomes last fall. Once you have your analysis, you can look at what files were produced by clicking on Analyses and FASTQ Generation, or you can go to any of the individual samples, click on a sample name. It will bring you to the different analyses that were done on just that sample, um, and then you can go and look at it that way. So we're gonna go back to our project. the October 15th run from Genes and Genomes, click on FASTQ Generation. And once we're on this analysis page, we want to click on File, Download, Analysis. Now this is six gigs of data or almost six gigs of data. So the fastest way to download it is going to be to install an extra program called Base Space Sequence Hub Downloader. Once you have that set up, you're gonna select this first radio button, all file types, including VCF, BAM, and FASTQ, and you're going to download the files onto your computer. Once they're on the computer, you're gonna to go to Galaxy, you're gonna press plus on history, and you wanna create a new project. I called mine Fall 2021 Unit 1 Project. You could call it Bio 340 or Ben 345 Unit 1 Project, whatever name makes the most sense to you. Um, you could call it something like FASTQ to FASTA, because that is what the project is going to walk us through the steps. We're going to start with the raw data that we get from sequencing, FASTQ, and we're going to end with the FASTA file that is the sequence from the original genome. Anytime I change a history name on Galaxy, I need to click enter for that name to be saved. And now I'm ready to upload the files that I downloaded from base space. So I'm gonna to go to get data and go to upload. File from your computer, choose local files, and if you've installed Base Space, it will create on a PC, it will create a folder in your C drive. Um, if you've installed it on your Mac, it will also create a folder called Base Space. So you look for that folder. Um, and we're gonna see two folders that are created. The reads that were aligned with an index because during the indexing step, the barcode matched one of the indices that was used in library prep and the ones that were unindexed where the indexing run had an error or wasn't clear. So we're gonna to go to the indexed reads. We don't need to decompress these files. We can upload compressed files to Galaxy. And the only ones that we're going to use for the unit one project are those associated with sample one. So we double click on sample one. R1 represents the forward reads. R2 represents the reverse reads. We want both of those in our Galaxy history. And we can look here for bacillus coagulans. You see it isn't a reference genome, so we don't wanna specify what genome is associated with these samples. So I'm going to start the upload process. And when this is complete, I'm going to take a screenshot of my history to show what size the files are.